Hello everyone and welcome to the new episode of Swift UI tutorial. In this lesson, we are going to learn on how we can create different alert styles. So let's start by creating the very first that we have a show wallet details dynamic island. We are going to first look at the alert styles that we have right now and then we are going to start developing it. So first we have the dynamic island style, then we have as a pop-up and then we have a spiral alert. You can also press on the buttons that are shown on the alert. Then we have a show wallet detail snap alert, which opens as a snap. So here we have four different types of alert that we have created our own very custom using different animation. So let's start. So first we have a four buttons. So we have created the four different buttons here in a V stack, as we saw that the alignments are vertical. So we need V stack for the vertical alignment and we have added four buttons to it. In each button, we have a different text and styles. And then we have a button action, which is defining which alert to trigger. If you look at the first alert, we have the show wallet details dyna dynamic island and it sets the model value to alert true and it gives the edge which is top. So what are, what are the show alert and edge? So if we go to the alert data, alert data is just a simple struct which, ha which has two properties, show alert and edge. Show alert is a Boolean type and edge is edge type. So this edge is basically the edge that we have top, bottom, leading, trailing. Now, if you move back to our model, we are just setting the model is equals to alert data. We have a state variable and we have a model optional alert data. We assign alert data model with the show alert true and edge dot top. So this modifier is modifying our view. And in this modifier, we pass banner modifier. Banner modifier is a struct that we have created. And in this banner modifier class, we have created the content dot overlay. Now this content is a content from which I am calling modifier. So if I go back to this class and look this V stack, which is the list of buttons, we have added the modifier to it. So the content that is being overlaid is a content on which we have added our modifier to. So we have added mod our modifier to a V stack. So the content will be passed a whole V stack. So we have added overlay and this overlay has another V stack. So we added a spacer to the bottom and if we have a bot model dot edge bottom, so we add a spacer to the top. Then we have card notification view and the card notification view is a notification view that we saw that was a card type, which is the alert. You can have your own alert over here. After adding few modifiers to it, we have added transition. So this transition is playing an important part for our first alert, which is any transition dot move model dot edge top combined with opacity. So it let our alert view or V stack to enter the screen from the top with an opacity. So if I go back and if I look at, so it's appear from the top with an opacity. So now moving back to our code, we have added a gesture, which is a drag gesture. And on that drag as we have added model is equals to nil. So if we are going to drag it, a model is will be set to nil and our card is going to disappear. Then we have a second alert, which appears as a pop-up. And in this, we are toggling the show alert pop-up is equals to true. So it is set to true after pressing the button and its opacity got toggles from zero to one. And we have added a scale effect. It scales from 0.6 of its actual size to one. And we have added dot animation cell to spring bind it with the value of show alert pop. So if I press the button show wallet detail as pop up, it's going to scale from 0.6 to one and it's going to appear as a pop up. Then we have a spiral alert. So in this spiral alert, we have added the rotation effect and we have added rotation effect of zero to 360. So it's going to rotate it from zero to 360. We have also added scale effect. So whenever we are setting show alert spiral to true, the first thing is the first thing I do is that it rotate start the rotation effect and it's also start scaling it. So it scales from 0.2 to one and the scaling and these animations are performed with, with the, and these animations are performed with an animation duration of one second. So if I go back and look at the animation, so it's scaling from 0.2 to one and it's rotation time effect is set from zero to 360. If I need more rotation to it, what I can do is I can simply add zero to 120. And if I'm going to run this code, it's going to rotate two times here. So you can rotate as many times as you want. So this is the function of rotation effect modifier. Then we have alert snap. So we have added scale effect again, because we need to scale the alert from 0.2 of its actual size to one. And we have added animation dot snappy. This snappy animation makes our view appear as a snap and you can also modify it by different durations. 
and on the tab gesture outside we have set these pop-up to false so if i need to like disappear any pop-up if this is the pop-up and i want this pop-up to disappear i'm going to simply tap outside and it's going to set to false so these were the four tutorials that we have created. The Git wrapper is attached in the description. If you want to contribute or add more alerts to it, feel free to. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you like it. Stay tuned for more lessons.